men are, are hungry for purpose. When you give a man purpose, you give a man life. camp originally started in 2015. We had been blessed with a piece of property out in Florence, Texas. And uh, I said, Lord, I'll use it however you want me to use it. And so that was the first idea that popped in my mind. Hey, let's let's do a retreat for uh, men. Let's call men out. Let's share some testimonies. Let's do some campfire praise and worship songs. Uh, let's eat some good barbecue together and, and be encouraged by each other's presence and company. Started with 11 guys and then 2016 we stepped it up a little bit and so basically we went from 11 guys to what 35 that next 35, time? 35 yeah. Part of the reason that we we came in and, and started man camp uh, really starts with our own brokenness. Long journey uh, in my life uh, with a lot of a lot of burned bridges, a lot of broken hearts. Um, and when I got saved, I realized the power of the Lord. With that newfound salvation, uh, it, it just pushed me to want to keep other guys from going down that same path of destruction. Or if they're on it, to encourage them, to let them know that there's still an opportunity to turn from those ways. Originally, you start out just wanting to encourage men and and uh, just be in community and have a good time together. But as it started to develop and as we started to host these events, we, we really started to see that there's a, a hunger inside of men. There's a hunger to, to find their purpose and to live in a purpose and to fulfill a purpose and to be a legacy builder. But then beyond that, what we also realize is there's a world of broken and hurting men out there uh, that that truly do need encouragement, but also they need to be challenged, right? Like it's one thing to encourage people and to, to pep talk them, but it's quite another to, you know, speak truth and love and let them know the areas in their lives that they really need to step up their game. But all at the same time with a, a loving pat on the back that says, hey, you know what, you got this, but this is the truth. So let's do this together. Every event we want to bring in some sort of symbolism that helps men, that's, all, that's tangible, right? Of this is my junk. This is where I'm broken. This is what I'm going through. But I don't have to own all this. I don't, I don't have to carry it. And so having men leave that here at man camp when they come is crucial. And then having men pick up a true wholesome, honorable identity. Not that you're an addict, not that you're uh, an alcoholic, not that you are addicted to porn, not that you are a liar or a cheat. Who are you in Christ? You're an honorable man, you're strong, you're forgiven, you're restored, you're redeemed. We've got a few wives. They've sent us emails saying, this is how my husband has changed. When he came home, he was a different man. Our family is different because my husband is different. He's truly leading. He's, he's taking the necessary steps to be the man that he needs to be for our family. But the tide turns now at Bethlehem. Encouraging men it's calling men to action. It's calling men to the front lines. It's, it's inviting them into the battle with us, at our side, not in front of us, not behind us, but beside us, so that we can fight arm to arm, shield to shield, and help each other conquer the enemy and live that life with legacy that impacts people well beyond this lifetime. Founds our plan. The 
mystery. If God is man.